there is something quite ideal about the location and surroundings of the city. Unfortunately, those aren't my words. They were written by Goethe, Germany's best-known poet. He was referring to Heidelberg in Baden-Württemberg. So let's see if the city casts its spell on me too. Like Goethe, many painters and poets were enchanted by Heidelberg. And obviously, so are visitors today. The city on the Neckar is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Germany. Thanks to my 360 degree camera, you can explore Heidelberg yourself. You decide what you want to see by putting on a VR headset or moving your smartphone. If you are at a computer, use the mouse to drag the pictures where you want them. For five centuries, the Prince Electors of the Palatinate resided in Heidelberg Castle, until the French destroyed it in the 17th century. Instead of being rebuilt, it was kept as a ruin. It epitomizes German Romanticism. Every year more than a million people visit the castle. Only a small part of it was reconstructed as a museum. It shows how the Prince Electors used to live here. In the castle garden you can take a break from sightseeing and relax. In the 17th century it was considered the eighth one of the world with its grottos, exotic plants and mazes. Nowadays it is laid out in the style of an English landscape garden. Heidelberg's old town lies at the foot of the castle. Here is the marketplace with the town hall and on the opposite side the Church of the Holy Spirit. This building with the red facade is a real renaissance gem. It survived all the wars and fires that ravaged the city. In addition to many small lanes, there's a large main street with a lot of shops and cafes. It's one of the longest and loveliest pedestrian precincts in Europe. On the other side of the river, you'll find the Philosopher's Way. Students walked along here at a time when the words philosopher and scholar were used synonymously, hence the name. Today, it is one of Heidelberg's highlights. When I walk along here enjoying the view of Heidelberg, I have to think about Goethe and all the other writers who loved Heidelberg. And I have to say, they were right. The city and its surroundings are really romantically beautiful. <laughs> 